Hello, friends. So glad to be with you once again. Today, I want to tell you a story. It's a short story. See, once upon a time, there was a great famine in which people jealously hoarded whatever food they had and could find. They were hiding it even from their friends and neighbors. One day, a man wandered into the village and began asking questions as if he planned to stay for the night. There is not a bite to eat in the whole county, he was told. You better keep moving on. Oh, I have everything I need, the man said. In fact, I was thinking of making some stone soup to share with all of you. He pulled out a big iron cauldron from his wagon, filled it with water, and built a fire underneath it. Then, with great ceremony, he drew an ordinary-looking stone from a velvet bag, and he dropped it into the water. Well, by now, hearing the rumor of food, most of the villagers had come to the square or watched from their windows. As the man sniffed the broth and licked his lips in anticipation, hunger began to overcome the town people's skepticism. Ah, the man said to himself loudly, I do like a tasty stone soup. Of course, stone soup with cabbage. Oh, that's hard to beat. Well, soon a villager approached hesitantly, holding a cabbage he had retrieved from its hiding place. And he added it to the pot. My goodness, cried the man. You know, I once had stone soup with cabbage and a little bit of meat as well. It was fit for a king. Well, the village butcher managed to find some meat. And so it went through. So it did through potatoes and onions, carrots, mushrooms, and so on until there was indeed a delicious meal for everyone. The villagers offered the man a great deal of money for the magic stone, but he refused to sell and he traveled on his way the next day. Now, friends, there really wasn't anything magical about that stone. It was just an ordinary stone. But what was special that day was that how everyone came together and offered just a little bit of what they had. And when everybody was able to offer even just a little bit, a great meal was made so that everyone could eat. God wants us to offer what we can. Because when we can offer what we have to God, amazing things can happen. And I want you to remember that. You may not have much to offer to God in terms of amount of money or amount of stuff, but we have something. And we can offer our best to God. Let's pray. Dear God, we give thanks for the many blessings we have received. Help us to, in turn, offer what we can to benefit your kingdom here on earth. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you again next time.